Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this one I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install the Tachiyomi app and use it as well. So I'm currently here on my phone. Um, if I look over here to the right side, you can see that I have the Tachiyomi app installed already. Now if you go over to the Play Store, you know that you cannot find Tachiyomi. You probably tried this, this is just why you reach the video. So you're just going to see other um, manga applications that are available here um, which is mostly um, licensed and will need some payment or don't even have most of what you need to see which is why we want Tachiyomi so let's go over to Google Chrome search up Tachiyomi so that we're going to be sent to its website but now we don't have a website available for Tachiyomi because it has been shut down so we're gonna head over to or we could search it up here Tatsuyomi APK and we can just download any of these links here now it doesn't matter if it's old or not um, because when you download the app you might be wondering that it doesn't really work properly because actually you have to do something first before it works so let's just download the app first let's just wait for 10 seconds before it, we're given the go signal I think uh, I'm not sure this is a problem with these websites because you don't really know which one is the real download button so you have to be careful if it sends you to a uh, an ad website you just make sure to go back in case you might be okay, in, in danger okay so I'm just gonna do that and let's see what happens so I'm just gonna install the app so okay it's the right application it's gonna install the app and at first when you go over to um, browse over here it should look empty because Tatsuyomi no longer supports even if you go over to extensions you won't be able to see all of these um, repositories all of these extensions and that was surprising because like oh why do you have so much to see and I don't have any because that's the thing it has lost support um, for allowing um, public domains into its um, into its what do you call this its system because it has been um, attacked by the anti-piracy um, stuff from the government. I can't really explain properly. I don't know the details, but it's like like that. So what you actually need to do in order to have all of these is to go over to more, go to settings, and then we go over to the browse, and then you go to extension repos over here. So basically. You have to do these, you add, and then you just paste any of these links that you see over here. So, you can just look at it, pause the video, and then type down what you see over here onto your ad, your ad repo. And then, when you restart the application, you should be able to see all of these. And that's it. That is how you can download, install, and use Tatsuyomi app. I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.